do halves and quarters with Hartwig. I'm your host, Mrs. Hartwig, and today I'm going to share with you a recipe that my family is going to have for dinner tonight. We're having a broccoli and spinach salad. I know, doesn't it sound delicious? Don't worry, for all you carnivores, there's going to be some steak on it too. But together right now, we're going to make the dressing for our salad. And my recipe calls for one half cup Greek yogurt, one fourth cup buttermilk, and one fourth cup mayonnaise. So if we can remember, one half means that there are two parts to the whole, and I'm only using one of those parts. So for my Greek yogurt, I need to find my measuring cup that matches my fraction. And you probably can't see it, but on here it says one half cup. So I'm gonna measure out my one half cup of Greek yogurt. So I filled up my half cup with Greek yogurt and I'm gonna put it in my salad dressing container right here. And next, my next item is a liquid item. One fourth cup, one fourth cup of buttermilk. So I'm gonna use my liquid measuring cup and it shows me where one cup is and then it has a line for each one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and got one my cup. one fourth cup of buttermilk and I'm gonna add it here. And my last ingredient is one fourth cup mayonnaise. So I've gotta find my measuring cup. One fourth cup, you might notice, it's about half the size of my one half cup because two fourths equals one half. All right, I've got my one fourth cup of mayonnaise that I'm adding in here. Oh, doesn't that look just delicious? Yum, yum. <laughs> All right, now if we look closely, you might notice that it's filled up right to that one cup line. Why would that have happened? I only put in a half cup, a fourth cup, and a fourth cup. Because like I told you, one fourth is half of a half. So I ended up putting in one half plus one fourth would be three fourths plus one more fourth is four fourths, which equals one full cup. Now I'll be right back with more exciting fractions after this message. Hartwig. I'm your host, Mrs. Hartwig, and I'm glad that you're here. My family can't wait to eat that delicious salad dressing later tonight now that I've added all the wonderful herbs and spices to it. Tomorrow night, we're going to have quesadillas. What I love to do with quesadillas is cut them into pieces, which are fractions. So I'm going to start with this one whole tortilla. And if I cut it like this, I now have two pieces. Each piece is one half. So it looks like this, one half. One is the numerator, two is called the denominator. The number on top is how many pieces you actually are holding, and the number on the bottom is all the pieces together. So right now I'm holding one half. Ooh, but let's get crazy. What if I cut it like this? Ooh. I have one, two, three, four pieces all together. So my denominator is four. If I pick up this one piece, it is one out of the four, one fourth. Oh, oh, I know we're getting a little bit wild here, but we're gonna go one step further. What if I cut like this? <gasps> now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So now my denominator becomes eight. And if I take this one piece, I, my numerator is one. What if I take two pieces? Now I've got a fraction of two eighths. Looks like this. You might notice it also looks the same as when I had one fourth. What if I take two more pieces? Now I have one two, three, four out of the eight, or four eighths, 
looks like this when I write it down. Also the same as one half. It's amazing. Fractions are so cool. I'm so glad you joined me today. We are about done and I can't wait to see you next time on my next episode Mom, of Haves and Yes Sir. There's only one piece left. Oh no. Do you know what we can do? It's like magic. We cut it in half. And now there's one, two pieces for two awesome little girls. Have a great day. And you have a great day too. It's so exciting. <laughs> Welcome back to Haves and Quarters with Heartwigs. <laughs> no laughter. <laughs> Four pieces. So if I take this piece, whoa. Fun. <laughs>